This right here could be the best mini crawler you can currently buy. That's right, you heard me correctly. This thing is a rival for the Traxxas TRX4M. It's also cheaper and it has lots of optional upgrades available to make it even better. I'm not going to bore you with any more talking, let's just take a look at it. And here it is, doesn't this thing look fantastic? This is the officially licensed LC80 by FMS. What an amazing looking little crawler. And I actually think this is one of the best looking mini crawlers I've ever had on my channel. Now before we go any further, let's talk a little bit about FMS. Now in the past they have produced some amazing RC cars and some, well, kind of disappointing, but this thing looks incredible both on paper and in real life. And I think the biggest question here is, is this going to be better than the Traxxas TRX4M, which is pretty much in the same price range? And to work this out, we need to skip past the unboxing and we need to get straight to the juicy stuff don't worry i will show you what you get in the box later now let's start with the exterior details first then now of course this thing does have lots of nice details because fms wanted to make this as realistic as possible of course we've got a front bumper we have a roof rack and a snorkel wing mirrors windscreen wipers we've also got a full-size spare on the rear this is one of the most impressive looking bodies we have seen from fms so far now to add to the scale details this thing also has an extensive led lighting setup and i'm going to demonstrate that now so we've got low beam and high beam headlights of course we've got turn signals we have an led light bar up on top and on the rear we don't get brake lights but we do get reversing lights and this is kind of weird because they're red i've seen this before and it does subtract from the scale detail a little bit maybe they do things differently in other countries but here in the uk reversing lights are known for being white so let's take a quick look at the chassis features then now under the body it does look a lot like the fcx24 platform but it's obviously a lot larger and there are some impressive features here which have also been included from the baby brother including the two-speed transmission with high and low speed gearing we also get metal chassis rails and oil filled shocks which feel absolutely incredible and i think that's probably one of the best upgrades fms have done for this platform we also have a large battery tray at the front and this will mean we have the extra weight of the battery over the front axle in comparison the trx4m has the battery mounted in the middle now this rubber strap does appear kind of weak so up at the front, we have an axle mounted servo with a servo saver. We have pull to axles all round with metal gears. Of course, we have ball bearings throughout. We have a metal four link suspension setup. We've also got metal steering links. And finally, this thing does use plastic drive shafts. Now, of course, there's only one way to find out how this little truck performs. But before we do that, let's take a quick look at what else we get in the box. So of course we have our transmitter. Now this thing I've seen before, you actually get this with quite a few of the other FMS models. Uh, this is a four channel transmitter. Channel four controls the LED lights. Channel three controls the two speed transmission. And then of course we have our usual adjustments up on top there, like our steering trim, steering dual rate, throttle trim and throttle dual rate. There's also some dip switches there. We don't get a foam grip on the wheel, but I don't care about that because these things are still really nice. And one of my favorite features is the really cool looking carbon fiber effect which is all over this little transmitter. Yeah, really cool. Here we have our 900 milliamp hour 2S LiPo, and this thing is considerably bigger compared to the one you get with the FCX24. And this should give us plenty of runtime. In here we have a USB charger, there's a cross wrench, there's also some decals. That's pretty much it with that. We have a black and white manual. We've also got some more decals, and that's pretty much it. So let's get this thing out for a rip. Right, so let's see how this performs then. Now I am in low gear at the moment. Let's see how it handles some of these smaller rocks. Absolutely fine. Now I think we can all agree how realistic this thing looks. I don't know if we need the turn signals, but it's still a nice feature. And I guess you could unplug them if you wanted to. I think the tires could potentially do with being a little bit more grippy. I had the same issue with the Lima. It just felt like there was zero grip with the tires. 
Now, just in case you're wondering, that is the top speed when you're in low gear. Let's go up to high gear. So with high speed selected, as you can see, is incredibly quick. And that is gonna come in handy when you're on your favorite trowel or your favorite crawler course, because you will be able to get from one obstacle to the next in a hurry. And once again, in comparison to the Traxxas TRX4M, I think this thing could be the clear winner. So let's get back to the running footage then and back on the bumpy stuff. Now, so far, I am seriously impressed with this little crawler and it does feel so much nicer to drive compared to the FMS Lima that I tried recently. But I did say on my video that it did have potential to be a good truck, but it did need some upgrades. But I think at this point, if you're in the market for a new trail truck, this could be the clear winner. And so far, it just feels like it's the better performer. So what's the low speed modulation like then? Well, of course we've got low gear selected. Let's hit the throttle slightly. Not too bad. Now the suspension does flex really well on this, but as you can see, just like the Lima, we are facing some traction issues with those tires. I think this could definitely do with a better set of tires. And I think the included tires are the biggest thing for me at the moment, because everything else seems to perform really well. So would I suggest buying one of these over the Traxxas TRX 4M? Well, they're both in a similar price range. They both feature pretty good aftermarket support. And of course, they're very similar in size. Now, of course, the Traxxas TRX 4M does have some major differences compared to the LC80. And one of the biggest ones is the fact that this does have more weight over the front axle. And that is thanks to that large 900 milliamp hour battery. Now that said, one of the biggest advantages to the Traxxas TRX 4M compared to this one is the fact that that is fully waterproof compared to the electronics on this only being splash proof. Now I know a lot of you won't actually be getting these things wet, but for those of you out there who do enjoy getting your cars wet, I think the Traxxas may be the better option. But I think when it comes to looks, the LC80 wins. And that is because it does have more metal out the box. And of course that two speed transmission, which you don't get on the Traxxas. This is a huge step up for the company. And I have absolutely no doubt whatsoever that the FCX18 platform is gonna become a successful one. Now don't go anywhere. If you wanna see more from my channel, click one of these videos now.